In the early 1920s, there was no easy way to get to Reading proper from the east, the direction of metropolitan Philadelphia. Traffic generally came in through rural Exeter Township into Mount Penn and down the two-lane Perkyoman Avenue. By 1925, with the increasing availability of the automobile, it was clear that the small residential road was becoming dangerously overrun with traffic. Newly elected mayor William E. Sharman proposed a new road plan to alleviate it. However, the now iconic bridge was fraught with unfortunate events from the very inception. County engineer Charles F. Sanders was hired by the city to design the viaduct at the end of 1926. Sanders began his county engineer position in 1903. During those 21 years, he was responsible for designing and overseeing the construction of more than 75 bridges in Berks County. Some of the most recognizable include the Penn Street Bridge, Schuylkill Avenue Bridge, Bingaman Street Bridge, and the Birdsboro Viaduct. Ground was broken on the project in the spring of 1927. In June, Wyoming missing resident E.D. Keynes proposed in the Reading Times to name the bridge after aviator Charles Lindbergh, who weeks earlier made the pioneering transatlantic flight from New York to Paris. Sanders was granted leave of absence in July of 1927, following a mental health crisis he endured as a result of overwork in designing the Lindbergh Viaduct. In over two decades, designing and overseeing construction on Berks County's most recognizable bridges, what about the creation of the Lindbergh Viaduct sent him over the edge? Many issues developed during the initial construction process. When digging to pour the concrete bases for the viaduct's pillars, sand pockets were hit, which required redesigning parts of the bridge. In fact, the eastern approach had to be completely reconfigured to accommodate this problem. On September 28, 1927, the first death occurred as a result of the bridge. Carpenter Alvin Adams fell 50 feet after having a premonition about his own untimely demise only days earlier. It was reported in the September 29th Reading Times that Adams had told his father that he didn't think he would live to be his age. On December 7, 1927, the very first motor vehicle made its way onto the bridge even though it was not yet open to traffic. A Union Fire Company vehicle was called to the viaduct to put out a fire which had engulfed a hoist. The Lindbergh Viaduct opened to public traffic on May 28, 1928, and the final cost, with all the changes and improvements, was $764,000. Right before Election Day in 1927, Mayor Sharman took out an entire page in the Reading Times using the viaduct as an advertisement for his re-election. On September 13, 1928, it was reported in the Times that Sharman's successor, Mayor Maurer, received a bill for $47,000 for land that the viaduct was built on. He was quoted, They made the bridge crooked to hit this piece of ground, and they didn't pay for it. This viaduct is a failure, nobody wants it, and those that do use it run a risk of accident every time they go over it. It is a miserable thing, and now we must find the money to pay for it. The first reported accident on the bridge occurred on October 25, 1928, when two people were injured due to slippery conditions. Skidding would be a reoccurring problem on the bridge and led to many accidents. However, even after multiple attempts at repaving the span to remedy this problem, it kept happening. On April 30, 1936, a fatal crash occurred on the viaduct which killed one and injured six more. The very first suicide occurred on January 31, 1938, when a city employee who had recently quit his job took his own life by plunging off the bridge onto the tennis courts below. The West Shore Bypass was completed in the early 1960s, negating the need for the Lindbergh Viaduct to carry traffic from the east into the city. However, the bridge has remained the location of many accidents and suicides to date. In March 2021, a man was tragically killed in a freak accident when a tree fell on his car which was traveling on the viaduct. Most recently, in January of 2023, a body was found under the viaduct. Perhaps another tally in the nearly century-old list of those whose last moments are indelibly connected to the structure. <laughs>